So front of the car now done, both the heat exchangers fitted, air ducts all trimmed to shape, and the plumbing all ran. Along the bottom of the car, you see it poking out down there. So next job is getting the bumper back on the car, headlights back in place, all the wheel arch liners and everything there. So front bumper is now in place. So a nice outlet, so a heat exchanger between the carbon grills there. So no trimming has been required to the bumper at all. Air ducts all made up perfectly. You can see through there, looks super, super OEM. So now to the rear of the car, all stripped out, exhaust system obviously all off, air box all out, uh, side vents all out. We then had the engine ECUs out of it earlier, doing a backup breeds on them before we start tuning. So we're gonna have the intercoolers, one here, one here now. Uh, and then the turbos will be down the back here. And then obviously one air filter there, one air filter there. Then obviously in preparation to start with, we're gonna run this car out the bumper. So the bumper brackets removed from there as well, just so aesthetically it looks a bit nicer. Um, but yeah, so that's that's all coming together nicely there. And everyone's noticed here, we've got a uh, little classic quattro corner going on around this side of the workshop. So both have original 10 valve quattros in for uh, numerous bits of work. So that's pretty cool. Inlet manifold is now removed, obviously that's going back on. Uh, but next job in here is changing over all the check valves on the PCV system over to upgraded AMS units. As you can see down here, three of the new check valves installed. One, two, and three. A few little modifications to go on the inlet manifold now. Uh, the new gasket supply by AMS are all installed on there as well. So a few little uh, modifications on the inlet manifold to be done over here and that's all going back in the car. So now the end of the second day of working on the RA. So little recap. So we talked about earlier, the inlet manifold's off, modifications have been done to him, back to the car. Check valves been replaced, the upgraded AMS ones, new gaskets fitted. So at the rear there, that's done. Tomorrow's job, get the inlet manifold back on the car. Um, and then we're going to go on to bolting up the turbo kit. Then come around to the front of the car, as we touched on a few clips ago. Front's all back together now, bumpers back on the car, under trays are all back on. Heat exchangers all fitted there behind the OEM grills. So yeah, progress as you've seen then is going pretty well on the car. Um, end of day two now. Um, as we touched on tomorrow, turbo is going to go on intercooler brackets are going to go on, potentially start getting the intercoolers in, various other bits of plumbing. Um, so yeah, progress progress is going pretty well. So, day two, not crazy amounts of progress on this today because we've had so many customer cars in, but Mike's got a few things done. So inlet manifolds off the car, um, you can come over here, you can see in here a few little mod modifications done to the PCB system, um, you can see the pipe work up there. Comes with the AMS Alpha 10 kit, then if we come right on over here, um, check valves have been replaced. If you come right down here, uh, you can see check valves here have been replaced and new gaskets have been fitted in there for the inlet manifold, all 10 of them. Um, so that is day two. Front of the car's all back together now. Uh, grills all back in for the heat exchangers. So front of the car's all done plumbing wise. Inner manifold, just got to bolt that back on now. So that's got to go back on. And then tomorrow the intercooler brackets are going to go on and we're going to test fit the turbos on. A bit more plumbing. Plumbing done on both the turbochargers now uh, for the oil and coolant. 
brackets in for the charge coolers. Uh, so final bits of plumbing now, get those fitted up. Got the charge cooler reservoir all fitted up in there as well, in that manifold back on. So yeah, progress is going well on it. So, end of day, effectively two and a half days worth of work. Uh, car's really making some great progress now. Um, we had, we've got some solid time on it today. So, let's do a run through of what has been done on the car today. So, turbos as we touched on earlier. Both turbos are all fitted, bolted up. We've got the oil feed and return lines all in place as well, all plumbed up with the heat shield on them as well. Uh, about to get the turbo blankets on. We've got the bracketry for the heat exchangers all in. We've got the additional water reservoir in uh, for the cooling system. Next stage, I'm about to take the ECUs out of it. So the AMS Alpha 10 kit retains the factory ECUs. So we got one there, one there, about to take those out, uh, put them on the bench, get some reads, extract some data from those and patch those up. Inlet manifold back on, obviously we touched on yesterday, um, doing some changes to the pipe work on the PCV under there as well. Inlet manifold's all on. Main component, obviously the turbochargers are back on. Uh, look at the view of that. Obviously I'm gonna run this car bumperless as well for a bit. So uh, it's gonna look pretty interesting for the other road users out there. So super exciting, really getting there now. You see a little breather up there as well, fitted, which comes with the Alpha 10 kit as well. Obviously with all this, we're going to do a full service on the car because it's a 2017 car. Uh, change all the spark plugs, going to do a full gearbox service on it as well. Um, engine oil, obviously uprated oil as well. Flush all the coolant through. But yeah, so really happy with today's progress. Shouldn't be too much longer left now. Today it is Wednesday the 5th. So by Friday, this will all be done and running, then into the next week for tuning. So this is gonna be the end of vlog number two, I've decided. So this is all you're gonna see here. The next vlog's gonna be fitting the heat exchangers, doing the ECU tuning on the car, um, doing the rest of the plumbing and all the electrical set up, the boost control and everything like that. And then vlog number four after that one is all gonna be the car on the dyno, and then obviously, as promised, some reaction videos, and also we're gonna be taking some customers out in the car as well. So if you're interested, if you're a customer, you wanna go for a ride out in the car, ping me an email over, and um, we'll arrange a date and a time to get you down here to go out in the car. Obviously, part of the fun of this build is gonna be able to enjoy it with other people as well. Um, so obviously it's something pretty special, not something you see every day. And we want to share that with everyone, especially people potentially interested in this kit for your Huracan or R8. So that's really cool um, and nice to be able to have this car and offer that to people as well, especially potential clients. So enough of me for this vlog now. Uh, thank you very much for watching this one.